Anthropomorphic characters in video games was a trend that really escalated after the release of 1991's first Sonic game by Sega. The character has been credited for opening the door to many other furry protagonists, most of whom resonate with vast audiences. Especially one in particular though, the furry subculture. Yes, we are doing a video on the best furry characters in video games. For those of you who don't know, a furry is someone who has a liking for anthropomorphic animals, creatures who have human characteristics, and dress up as such or have a persona called a fursona. With that in mind, buckle up as we count down our top 10 video game furries. And at number 10, Spy Fox. Spy Fox is essentially the fox version of James Bond. He wears a spiffy tuxedo and he's incredibly suave and sophisticated. And he's got the wits and gadgets to back himself up when he gets into a tight spot. He lives in a world with other anthropomorphic animals, including Professor Quack, who aids him when it comes to navigating his spy gadgets, and Monkey Penny, who acts as a partner of sorts for the character. Up next at 9, Yugo. Yugo from Bloody Roar is the protagonist of the game series. Bloody Roar consists of characters that can transform in battle, turning into anthropomorphic half animal, half humans called Zoan. Yugo is a young wolf zoanthrope who's trying to uncover the truth behind his father's death. The series is a total of five games, primarily for the PlayStation and PS2. And at number eight, Spyro the Dragon. Moving on from fur to scales, let's take a look at Spyro the Dragon. As some fans have pointed out, the majority of the characters within Spyro share a resemblance to furries. Like a few of the other characters on this list, Spyro wins major points for nostalgia. Scales haven't stopped fans from dressing up as the purple dragon, making him likely one of the most popular reptiles amongst the community. And at number seven, Thundercats. While often considered Considered as television characters due to the hit 1985 show, the Thundercats are also video game characters, with games released in 1987 and 2012. The Thundercats are cat-like humanoid aliens from a planet called Thundera. Their planet is dying, which is why the Thundercats have fled their world to go to a planet known as Third Earth. And at number 6, Bubsy. Bubsy was a feline lynx-esque character who starred in Bubsy in Claws Encounters of the Furred Kind. Yes, that's its name. In 1993 for the Sega Genesis, Super NES, and PC. Bubsy must defend the Earth's supply of yarn from alien invaders called Woolies, and he just so happens to have the world's largest collection of yarn balls himself. The game received a lot of hype prior to its release, but was canned afterwards, with critics calling it a poor Sonic knockoff. There were several sequels though, including Bubsy and Fractured Furry Tales, where he encounters fairy tale characters, and Bubsy 3D, Forbidden Planet. But for fans of the game, there's some recent good news. In 2017, developer Accolade announced that a new Bubsy game was being produced, called Bubsy the Woolies Strike Back. And at number 5, Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper, compared to some of the other anthropomorphic characters on this list, definitely fits the furry bill, despite the games he stars in not being inherently designed with furries in mind. He's a raccoon who is the descendant of a generation of master thieves, and grew up as an orphan after his father was killed by a gang called the Fiendish Five. When he's old enough, he hunts down the gang and steals his family's fortune back, all while catching the romantic attention of Inspector Carmelita Fox. And at number 4, Ratchet. Ratchet from Ratchet & Clank is a lombax, which is a species of like organisms. Developers in Somniac Games initially thought him to be a space traveling reptile, but through the development process, it was decided that they would rather lean more towards incorporating feline features because of the sense of agility associated with the animal. Ratchet received some tough love critically when he first debuted. Not about his aesthetic, but about his personality, with critics saying that he was only there in the game for deft observations and cutting remarks. Developers made him less cocky and more friendly to Clank in later games. As IGN's Douglas C. Perry said, Ratchet, I quote, is no longer an angry selfish teenage furry creature from outer space. He's a commando, a little wiser, a little more forgiving, and a lot more palpable, though still furry." End quote. And at number 3, Crash Bandicoot. While Crash may not have the physique of Ratchet or Sly, he scores our number 3 spot for being one of the more memorable anthropomorphic characters in video game history. The Crash Bandicoot franchise consists of 18 games with over 50 million copies sold worldwide. Crash is a bandicoot, as his name suggests, and lives a quiet life on the Wumpa Islands, except when he's rudely interrupted by Dr. Neo Cortex, Crash's creator, who wants to kill Crash and take over the world. Up next, number two, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic isn't just an iconic figure in the video game industry. He's also become a popular subject for the furry subculture, which has translated into some rather erotic pieces of fan art floating around on the interwebs. He's the subject of quite a lot of this fetish art. But that isn't to say that sexualizing the hedgehog is the community's main interest when it comes to Sonic. Sonic holds a very large piece of nostalgia in many gamers' hearts, and being the first truly popular anthropomorphic 
animal and gaming, it comes as no surprise that he would resonate strongly with many communities, especially one that has an interest in anthropomorphic animals. And finally, in our number one spot, Poochie. You're probably wondering, who the hell is Poochie and why did he beat Sonic? Well, back in 1993, a fighting game called Power Instinct was released, and it was notorious for using absurdist humor. Poochie was one of the playable characters in the game, a young man named Kinta Kakuen, who can transform into his alter ego, Poochie, which was essentially a man wearing a dog costume. A very muscular dog costume, that is. There we have it, friends. Any furry characters we didn't include on this list? Dare I say we do a part two? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos on some of the characters that we talked about here today, why not check out our recent uploads playlist on our channel? In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.